In his findings, Mr. Noria said a significant influence of geopolitical agendas are at play between both nations. Having Australia's decision to include PNG stands a potential to strengthen cultural diplomacy, drive economic development, and enhance its influence in the Pacific region. PNG NRL bid CEO Andrew Hill spoke of the benefits of having a PNG team in NRL. PNG and Australia have got a wonderful relationship. They've had a great relationship uh, for, for a long time and of course we're celebrating 50 years of independence. Uh, this decision uh, by both governments to use rugby league as a vehicle to unite uh, PNG to bring the two nations together uh, is the formation of most of our conversations. And so those conversations that uh, the two Prime Ministers are having, the two governments are having, are around how rugby league, and in particular how an NRL team based here in PNG, can help bring the two countries together. Mr Noria shared that the challenges ahead for PNG are political instability, inadequate sport facilities and match transitioning in other factors. Meanwhile, Mr Hill shared otherwise. Look, I think it's one of the things that's not really well known in Australia, uh, some of the facilities we have. Uh, you mentioned the Santos National Football Stadium, which is a great facility, hosted test matches, uh, FIFA, the Junior World Cup games. Uh, but there's also other stadiums in Port Moresby as well that could be utilised for training and for visiting teams. So we have three, uh, three stadiums, uh, and of course, yes, the NFS is where the Hunters play. Uh, we have some of the world's best hotels here in Port Moresby, uh, and I think that will surprise a lot of people. Um, so our, our facilities for visiting teams and where they're playing is already at an NRL standard. The franchise from PNG to join the NRL competition will be the richest expansion project in PNG Rugby League history required for infrastructure, talent development and operational cost. The NRL uh, and the PNG NRL bid are working really closely and yes we are getting uh, closer to a decision uh, and that decision of course requires the NRL to decide when expansion should occur. Uh, and the two governments who are working uh, to provide the right level of support uh, for the franchise. We have a team that is working on this, uh, led by uh, Kumul Petroleum Managing Director, who's the chairman of the NRLB team. As soon as I get a report on this one, I'll update, uh, update the entire country. Claire Mauta, Chukai Sports. <laughs>